Hey everyone, welcome with Hanging with Alicia. Today I'm going to do some organization hacks for your camper. I'm just going to go through and show you guys kind of what we do to keep things in place and to organize things so it's easy to get to everything. So so first we're going to start I guess with the bathroom. Uh, for the towels, because we have a weird towel rack in our bathroom, I use curtain rods to keep them in place, which is pretty cool. Um, they don't fall out when we're going over bumps and stuff, so I just use uh, curtain rods to keep those in place. And then underneath the sink, I use a wire rack to kind of give me a little bit more room to uh, stack things up, because our sink, underneath our sink is kind of a little bit small for our bathroom and it works really well. <clears throat> so next we'll go to the cupboards since they're right here. So for the top cupboard, it's a little bit unorganized, but that's where I keep like our pots and pans are up there. And yes, I take my waffle iron camping cause we love to cook while we're camping. So that's kind of what's up there. And then for like our canned goods and our snacks, and for our general food, I have these wire racks. And then I also have these little bins. Um, the wire racks and the little bins that I have, I found at uh, the dollar store, which is a really good deal because they're cheaper than going to Walmart. So I kind of have those to like be able to hold like our potatoes and gravy mixes and stuff that we like to have. And it allows you just to have more space when you're stacking things. And then down here, I have our trash bags, our um, Tupperware lids, Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, and napkins. So I have that. And then down here, I also have this little bin. I got this at the dollar store. And it holds all my Tupperwares and baking pans and stuff like that if I decide I want to make cupcakes while camping. And there's also paper towels down at the back. So then it's super easy just to quick grab that. And then for up here, this is where we keep our coffee and our spices and coffee cups and stuff. So I have little baskets that I keep the spices in because it's super easy to grab. A basket for our coffee maker stuff and a little wire rack right here so I can stack our cups and stuff that makes it very nice and then for the silverware drawer our camper came with already pre-divided drawers so that's nice so that's all organized and then for like the accessories and stuff for straws and the measuring cups and stuff that I have in here I got these little baskets these ones I believe I got at Walmart because they were like three for a dollar or whatever they had going on at the time and the third drawer is like miscellaneous, so flashlights, tool, like simple little tools that I have in here, screwdriver, a, a level for leveling our camper, um, extra lighters and stuff like that. And then once again, I use little bins to keep those all in place. And right here is just more miscellaneous, mainly entertainment stuff. So like my Sudoku puzzles, because I love them, cards, um, other puzzles. And then in here we have pens and pencils and my coloring crayons and colored pencils because I also love to color when I'm camping so I have all that in there and that's all organized for there um, and then we go to under the sink so under the sink this can get kind of messy because I know a lot of people like store like their soap and stuff under here so I have this little three drawer thing I got from Walmart and it holds like all my rags extra hand towels and then also my soap and my sponges that way I don't have anything rolling around over here this rubber maid has sunblock and bug spray in it underneath the cupboard um, I also keep my plastic bags under here because really nothing you can really store here so I use that for that here's some plastic cups just in case I need more cups and then for my dishes cupboard i also have a metal rack this one i did get from walmart because it was like a two thing and i needed one of these so i have that in here plates 
and bowls and stuff like that. And I also have a curtain rod in here to hold this little rack in place. So this stuff doesn't really fall all over. It keeps pretty much in place. So when I open it, it's not a complete disaster. So it does work. Um, and then um, over here, we keep our bottled water underneath the side of our couch. And what I did is I got one of those skinny, long Rubbermaids and I put my water bottles in there so it's easy to slide in and out and they don't go everywhere and it's an easy spot to keep everything for there. And then my number one thing that I've loved so far about getting from my camper for us is our camper doesn't have like dresser drawer style um, stuff for your closet. So I went to Walmart and I bought these little six cubby closet hanger thing and i tell you what it's amazing um i don't really hang my clothes when i go camping but it's nice because i can put like my underwear and socks here t-shirts here sweatpants here so it's so easy to organize because i don't have a dresser drawer so it's super nice and then also up here i got baskets these are from the dollar store to organize things if i want to put it up there it's easy to grab and i don't have to worry about it all over the place so that makes it super nice as well. And I also have the closet cubby thing over on this side as well. Makes it super nice to be able to um, unpack your clothes quickly, to go camping if that's what you guys do. Um, and then another basket to grab, and easy to grab the things. So that's pretty much how we organize the inside of the camper. Um, now I'm going to take you outside to our little cubby that we have and show you guys kind of like what I do over there. Okay, so now we're outside of my camper and I we only have one little storage area which is up front. So this is the side where we keep our general supplies. The other side is where we keep our hoses and our sewer cap and stuff like that and I'll show you guys how I organize that after I show you this area. So this is what it looks like after I get it all put away and organized. And so now I'm going to pull it all out and then show you guys um, kind of what's in every single bin and how I have it organized. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what's left in here because I don't want to pull it all out. But what I do is these are our chairs we have, along with a outside trash bag and a table and that's for our grill and then our, we have our big rug that we set out. So I load all that stuff first so that um sits right there and it's easy um then we have our leveling bricks we have i believe 30 of those and yes we've used all of them at once before just depends on where you go camping um we have a drill that we bought just to stay in the camper that way we don't have to worry about forgetting it we're using the one from home and forgetting that it's in the camper um i got this cool new lantern slash mosquito repellent light so in this first bin i basically have all the tools and our slide out spray and stuff like that that way it's easy to get to this one is for grilling so i'll put this on this big black table when i set it out um this is for all the grilling supplies and stuff that my husband has this one is for the firewood um fire starters and stuff like that put that in there and this is going to be my cute little camping sign I put out when I go camping. Isn't that cute? I also have a tablecloth in here, um, tablecloth holders. I have my awning light hangers, and I also have my um, carpet stakes. They're all going here, because I usually do all that at the same time when we're setting up our camp. So that will go in there. This big bin has an assortment of stuff in it. But so I have toys for my kids when they go camping. Um, this is a plastic horseshoe game. Uh, we have sand sifters. So if we decide we wanted to try finding some gold, dog leashes, um, dog bowl, dog cables to tie my dogs out with, stakes that um, hold our awning for when it's windy. So we have like just a prep of stuff in this bin.
So all this makes it super easy just to go ahead and pack up because everything has its set space. Um, so we literally just put everything back in here and pack up and it's super easy because when we're unpacking, we kind of just take everything out and put it underneath the trailer and then get everything out that we need and then we put it all back and put it all back in the trailer. Super easy, easy to find things. Things are all over the place. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this side back and I'll take you guys over to the other side. I will show you guys how we have this spot organized. This is where we keep our water hose, sewer hose, and our power inverter because we do have solar panels for our camper. And we also have beanbag toss in here. Some of you call it cornhole. So this is what this side looks like. Um, we also have tools over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. That way you guys can kind of see how I keep these as well. Okay, so as you can see, I'm keeping my cornhole in here, power inverter and the tools in here. Um, when we go camping, we take everything out and we usually grab these. So for the rubber mains, this one is our water hose. Um, we drill holes in it, that way the water can evaporate out of it, that way it's not sitting in um, the bottom of the tub creating mold and stuff. So this is our um, black tank rinse out hose that we hook up to the outside of our camper to rinse our black tank out when we are emptying our black tank. This is our spray hose that came with our camper and this is our um, RV water hose. I really like this style because it's easy to um, wrap up and stuff and put basically almost anywhere. So that's why I really like this style of hose. And then in this uh, rubber made, we have our power cord for our, our camper, and then we have an electrical cord, and we also have cool LED lights that we hang up um, around our awning when we put it out. Now, I think this hack is one of the other favorites that I have, um, is to get a small little rubber made like this, get some gloves, because this, this is for your sewer, and double side sticky tape it to the lid. That way you always have your gloves right there so they don't fall around and get lost inside your cubby. And then you have your sewer cap just by itself in here. Now, if you don't have a spot for your sewer hose on the back of your camper, like we do, then you would get another Rubbermaid to keep your sewer hose separate from everything else. That way it's just not rolling around in, the, uh, in your camper. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put those back. All right, so there you have it. That's kind of how we keep everything organized. It's super, super nice, because all you do is grab the container out and open it up and go through kind of what you want. It's a lot easier than having stuff rolling around. It makes setting up camp super easy and it makes up um, tearing down camp even easier because everything has its place and you just put it in there and you go home well thanks for watching and hanging out with me go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later